Brazilian YouTube Rafael Firpa decided to conduct a paranormal investigation at Stupid O'Clock inside a local abandoned house, which is believed to be haunted. Multiple visitors and locals have claimed to have witnessed shadow figures and strange noises coming from inside, so it goes without saying that nearby ghost hunters believe it to be a paranormal hotspot. Of course, in an attempt to find out if the claims are true, Raphael and his team packed their ghost hunting gear and brown spare pants to explore the abandoned building. But what they captured that night made them give up on paranormal investigations for good. Take a look. Eu te repreendo, em nome do Senhor Jesus. Cara, eu tô arrepiada. Nada prenda ele assim. Tô arrepiada, cara. Nada prenda. Quando o demônio bate em retirada, você não tem autoridade aqui. Você não Meu tem autoridade céu. aqui. Nenhuma. Vai embora. Meu Deus do céu. Vai embora. Você não tem. Mexeu ali, Bia. Meu Deus do céu, cara. Você viu aquilo? Eu tô tremendo aqui. Cara, tem uma coisa ruim aqui, cara. Tô tremendo, gente. Galera. Pior impressão minha ou mexeu a antena? Tá frio, meu Deus do céu. Caramba, Bia! Passo! Espia! Eu passo em cima. cima! Em cima, lá em cima! Tô repreendo todo mal! Todo mal caiu por terra! Galera, a gente vai subir lá, a gente escutou o passo aqui. Tem alguma coisa prendendo ele aqui, ele falou meu filho, ele falou que ele era meu. The night vision and general quality of the camera make it hard for us to see it, but with a naked eye, she spotted the antenna moving straight after an orb crashed into it, and suddenly, the can gets thrown down the stairs by an invisible force. This could be one of two things. Either she saw the antenna with her naked eye and got genuinely shocked by it, or she's a great voice actress, and this was a pre-planned cue for someone to somehow knock the can over off-screen. Even though we can't spot any signs of the fakery, strings, or edited audio to remove an off-camera leaf blower, but they also hear some bangs coming from upstairs. When they go to investigate, we can see a chair being pulled in the direction of the wall. There's no one there or anywhere to hide though, so if it isn't poltergeist activity, what is it? Can't wait to read your comments about this one. To watch the video in full and more scary videos like this, make sure you check out Raphael Ferpa's channel on YouTube. Number 4. Cat Light Reflexes These guys were just proud pet owners, but overnight they became a paranormal internet sensation. It started when they were just trying to catch a video of their cat doing a trick, but when they read the comments a few days later, they were shaken to their core. Let's find out why. At the top of the bathroom door, some kind of shadowy hand was lingering for a few seconds. First thought, it's somebody hiding inside the bathroom, of course, right? Well, they did go straight inside to investigate, and there was clearly nobody there. But maybe that ghostly hand was computer generated. However, pets are believed to be incredible at sniffing out paranormal activity, so if the hand was a good piece of editing, why did the cat run towards the door right after the hand disappeared? Perhaps she sensed something wasn't right. Some of their viewers pointed out that the door didn't open completely, 
but the pair were pretty quick to show us all that was behind the door. What do you think though, real paranormal activity or something else? Let us know in the comments. Also, if you want to see any updates on this one or watch some more cat videos, make sure to follow YADDD on TikTok. Number 3. Housemates Taking photos is a great way to capture memories, but for Lauren Combs, those pictures just captured what started a never-ending nightmare. She first noticed something strange when her landlord was taking photos of the newly installed windows. There's someone, or something, either reflected on the window or inside the house. It looks like a doll, but she hates dolls and has none of them around the house. She tried to recreate it and inspect the area, but all she found were scratches in the window. And that surely doesn't explain the rest of the creepy activity she was about to capture in that house. Luna, come on. A faulty doorbell, right? Either that or a mouse chewing on the doorbell cords. But why does it only happen when she is home alone? There's no one with her. Or is there? Something really doesn't like her choice of books, and it's especially terrifying when you look at which ones hit the ground. Mostly books to do with ghosts, which is creepy enough, but one book shook her more than the others. A book called 19 Minutes fell, which wouldn't mean anything unless you listened to what was said on the TV right after the books were pushed. Listen carefully. Did you hear it? Straight after the 19 minutes book fell, the actor on live TV said the words 19 minutes. Something isn't right here, and it looks like there's something else trying to get her dog's attention too. The spookiest thing about this clip is the dog's whimpers echoing throughout the house just before something fell on the floor. The footage also comes from house cameras, which means it would be pretty difficult to convincingly edit it, and the times on the screen match up perfectly to show there are no jump cuts or tricks. For example, when the timer reaches exactly 28 seconds, we can hear the door closing, perfectly matched on both cameras. Some commenters were rightfully suspicious that she never showed the footage from the outdoor camera while the doorbell was ringing, but they soon quietened down when they saw the next clip she uploaded, because it was enough physical evidence to set even the most skeptical on edge. At first she thought it was a cat jumping behind her, but when she turned around, the cat was nowhere to be seen. And when you look at the time, the witching hour, many ghost hunters and paranormal fans believe that between 3 and 4am is when ghosts tend to be the most active. 
but could it just be a dog pile of coincidences, or is this a truly terrifying case of a real life haunted house? Let us know your thoughts and make sure to follow Lauren on her TikTok page, Peach Assassin 99 to see what happens next. Found a scary video perfect for our compilations? Send it to hello at goosepimplesyt.com. You'll get a shout out if it's terrifying enough. Number 2. Petty Poltergeist Bumps and bangs are pretty easy to brush off as standard old house noise, even if they sound suspiciously like footsteps. But when every room of your house seems to have a life of its own, things become way more unexplainable. Just like in the following bunch of scary videos uploaded by the YouTube channel Crazy Adventures 1000, after hearing piano keys being hit in the middle of the night, voices coming from the kitchen when there was no one around, among other strange happenings, they decided to buy a few cameras to see what's causing the havoc. Here's the first piece of evidence caught on camera. Although there is always the chance somebody is hitting the strings from under the keyboard, that doesn't explain the keys pressing down. It could also be a player piano, with someone secretly feeding in some sheet music before the cameras started rolling. But with all the other evidence captured in this house, you'll soon realise that sheet music and secrecy becomes very unlikely to be the case here. The thing that makes this clip almost impossible to explain is the fact that the door swings in both directions. So, unless someone was running around the room wildly with a leaf blower, which you would have seen and heard, something must be moving that door. Not to mention, something had to have pushed that stuff off the side with some force, but there was nobody there. And it looks like this supposed poltergeist is active in every room of that creepy ass house. If you take a really close look, just between the toaster and the pan, it does look like there's an area that keeps moving every second, as if the original uploader masked the area using a software masking tool to fake the video. However, why would he be messing with that area every single second, even when there's nothing happening? If it was a software masking technique, surely he would only mask the area to hide something when stuff is moving. But what's the point of putting the extra effort of changing the masked area during the seconds when there's no action? Then again, this clip was filmed 10 years ago, and you already know that potato cameras never had the best quality visuals, so camera glitches like this were pretty common back then. But there's some more activity that you can't put down to camera faults. Now, at first glance, this could easily be someone pulling a string attached to the ceiling and the ball, but take a careful look at the movements. The first very movements start with the ball being pressed against the floor. Surely, if there were a string being pulled from the top, the ball would jerk upwards, wouldn't it? Not the other way around. There's someone, or something, putting force on it against the floor for it to start bouncing, 
The question is, what the hell could it be when we can't see anyone touching it? Now, you're probably thinking that the poor camera quality is not helping the believability of the clips, and rightfully so. But what happens when it's not just the trick of the eye? Again, the doors opening and the cup falling on the floor could be a string aided by the poor video quality, but how on earth did the oven switch itself back on in 2012? Surely a timer would only switch it off, not on, for safety reasons. The activity then began to overflow into even more rooms in the house. Good luck sleeping in this bedroom, because it looks like something has claimed it. We've come a long way with video editing in the last 10 years, but this doesn't look like something those potato cameras could pull off. But if that wasn't enough, their basement is just like the horror movies as well. If this is a poltergeist, it's also a really spoiled brat. Number 1. Her Ghost in the Fog Have your senses ever played tricks on you? Ever faintly heard things that made you do a double take? So did Cedar from Big Brother Brazil, but with a side order of something much more spine tingling. Ué, eu vi meu nome. Cida? Cida? Aonde? 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 Quem, quem tá chamando? É na casa? Cida! Oh. Vem cá. É você que tá chamando? É. Ai, que susto! Tava onde? Tava embaixo das coisas do Fabrício, lá das roupas sujas dele. Hum. Eu acho que a gente se tá tão muito bem, não. Posso ter uma dama? Por quê? Eu tava aqui lavando roupa, né? Aí... Aí, de repente, ela levantou. Quem tá me chamando? Quem tá me chamando? Da produção? Quem tá me chamando? Começou a gritar, sentado. Gritar no. Vamos gritar aqui no espaço? Assim. Aí eu. Aí eu fiquei vendo aquilo, ela falou, ai, eu fiquei falando sozinha. Ai. Ah, eu assim que fiz isso. De ficar se falando sozinha? Não. Ah, nunca reparei. Aí. Como disse quem tá me chamando aqui? Chamo... Aí eu chamei. Sei lá. Aí ela. Ela, ui, ai que bom, é você que tava me chamando? Eu era, eu não era. <risos> ai, ela, ai, ela, ai que estranho, porque eu confundi sua voz com a voz da minha irmã. 
Her sister was dead. She took her last breath to cancer that same afternoon, less than 30 minutes before the moment Cedar heard her voice, to be more precise. So if that was the case, what was Cedar hearing? To be fair, it is a reality TV show, and ironically, that's where you can get some of the most staged content. However, she seemed genuinely taken aback when she could hear what she thought was her sister's voice, and heartbroken when she received the sad news. Could it really be her sister calling out from beyond the grave, or a little scripted pulling on the heartstrings for the small screen? Let us know what you think in the comments, but don't click off just yet. Get comfy and prepare yourself for this week's spooky bonus video. Bonus. Mystery Inc. A huge shout out to our viewer Colin Lego for sending us this creepy clip via email. While on an early morning dog walk, Colin's pooch decided it was due time to pull towards the abandoned church graveyard. Scooby-Doo style. Colin wasn't extremely keen on the idea, considering the sky was still on the brink of sunrise, but he thought it would be a laugh to record it. But those laughs soon turned into wet pants, and not in the way you think. Take a look. Hey, 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 what's wrong, what's wrong? Saffron. She does that when she sees someone. Like a, like a human. Don't be doing that, there's no one there. When she sees another walker, she does bark, and there's no one here. This is the old part of the churchyard. What is that sound? She's up for it. What's that sound, Saf? You've got your leg under your lead, you Wally. Come on. For a little dog, she's quite stubborn. There's nothing over there. There's nothing over there. Come on, let's go. You found a stick? What is that sound? Yeah, I know. No, you're desperate to go that way, South. We can't go that way. There's no path that way. imminent death. Absolutely nothing. Well, what was that that went past the lens? Was it a bug? Safi the dog could sense something was up from the get-go. She only does this when she can see somebody. Turns out she wasn't the only one who saw something that night. This could be some fog, or even Colin's breath, but he was too quick to show us that the weather was extremely mild that morning. It wasn't cold enough for either of those, so what could it have been? The Scooby gang called it quits pretty quick after they saw that, but not before they got one more spook. It sounds like a small child saying, little dog. Again, a huge thanks to Colin for sharing his footage with all the Spookfest goers. Ready for another Spookfest? Click here to attend again. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new Spookfest. Thanks for watching. Stay in the dark.